you and welcome back to some more Minecraft. We are in Jasper's unnamed country is yet. Uh, gonna need a name for that. Well, I'm gonna start a playlist and like to have his country name in there. So we're gonna have to do some brainstorming here. Last time out, all we did is see the portal station in the little entry garden. <laughs> we haven't even gotten through his country and I have been sitting here grinning so big my face hurts. And you know, I was talking to about attention to detail and look at, you know, look at the bridge. Look at this. I mean, it, you know, you could just make a bridge or you can make it like that. And how much more satisfying and awesome is that? And I hadn't even realized as I was walking around here, there's so much more here that I haven't even... I was in so such awe, I didn't even get a chance to, to notice. I was just like, ah, the whole time. This is going to be, you know, this is the cafe, the outdoor uh, patio type thing. The cafe will be built behind it. But we've got this garden here. Now look what he's also done with this canal, this river. He's, he's walled in all around the edge. He's got the fence all along the sides of it. I mean, th there's actually a lot more going on here than I was even aware as I walked through stunned and amazed the first time. Damn boy, <laughs> this is awesome. So Jasper, lead on. We are going to your shopping district, I believe you said. Look how pretty, look how pretty. Oh God, I love this plaza. See the plaza itself needs a name. This needs to be called something special because this is special. Yeah, absolutely. And he says he is working on lore in history for this country. So we have, we get a lot to look forward to. There's a lot coming here. Look at the trees, how even, you know, even the trees are planted and looking amazing. So we have a wool shop, nice. And in we go, need wool. Well, you're in luck. <laughs> Grab a pair of shears and shear some sheep out back. Okay, that's nice. So other people on the server. Now, this everybody here, this is we're in biomes of plenty here, and everybody's got their own country, and we, we made the biomes big. We found when we kept them small, they were much, much smaller than on Quillbriar. It, it, it we were talking about like building a town would have been in three or four biomes. And it seemed like one extreme to the other. The, these biomes are so huge. You can just hike across them for 20 minutes and not even get to the other side. They're really big. So what we did, in, and there was no setting in between, unfortunately. There was either put a village this big on, you know, four different biomes, which seemed a little strange, or let's go with big ones. And we thought this would make it really easy to, to be able to understand where your country was. So we just gave everybody a biome, which means some people have got certain types of trees and ores and others don't. Some people have sheep, some have none at all. I, I know the biome that I started building in, I, I don't know if I ever, I haven't found a cow yet. It just isn't, it, it's not there. Um, so a lot of this stuff has to be traded for. So places like this he obviously has sheep he's even got some colored he's taken the time to do that and now he's telling anybody who wants to come you need sheep you or you need wool you don't have sheep in your biome you can come over here and do some shearing and take it home that is absolutely beautiful and he's got all the colors everything's ready to go <laughs> that's pretty nice that that's a lot of work that is going to be benefiting the other people in the server I mean, he, you know, he did, if he's got lots of sheep, he certainly didn't have to go through all of this work <laughs> to make that available for everybody else. But he's taken the time to do that. And all this building is in survival. This is, uh, this is a lot of work. And that's why I see your name on the server all the time. <laughs> now we know why. <laughs> the jerky shop. All right. <laughs> this is cool. these automatic door and there it is beef jerky that's brilliant so what do we have here bacon monster beef oh you got all the things chicken currently out of stock <laughs> feels free to take it it's in the chest behind the counter oh aren't you a sweetie no kidding oh what is that one over there say is something no, 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 please let me oh if something's out of stock let him know so, you know, he's not only doing this to store for himself, he's doing it so he can share with other people who may not have cows, you know, like me. I has no cows. <laughs> no cows for me. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> you have been busy. 
Can you smell it? Can you smell all the spices and stuff in here? Because I swear to God, I almost can. Like, for real. That's a lot of work, sweetie. That is a lot of work. All for the benefit of your fellow members. That's so nice. <laughs> And again, along the canal, look at all the work he's done. And we have another bridge and we've got fence and now to the butcher shop, which obviously has got, you know, a nice, uh, a nice bit of business going back and forth here. Some business to business going on between these two places, pork, beef, and chicken need leather place an order by sending me a PM on Skype. Ah, uh, that's brilliant see what I've been doing for books because uh, I, ha I have no cows in my world and I don't know I'm not sure if I've ever killed a cow in Minecraft anyway but uh, I used to just run around and get all my books from villagers I was always looking for another village so I could go and steal their books but um, now with the mods in here I've been I've been farming spiders and I have spent evening after evening doing nothing but digging trying to find a spider spawner <laughs> because I, I'm using um, using the, the silk to make all the different steps to make my books. But I spend a lot of time chasing spiders, mm -hmm. let me tell you. Oh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can laugh. You have cows. <laughs> oh, so we have all the little pegums. Hello. Oh, and the unhappy ones. I'm told that the new, um, the updated version of the Sortex fan for Universal has gotten rid of the the unhappy creeper pigs and I'm thrilled I'm hoping I to find time tomorrow to upgrade my own so yeah I agree they just look so miserable and I always feel like I need to be hauling them off to a vet or something <laughs> they worry me oh you've got one of these automated chicken farms oh geez you and Lizzie more eggs than any one human being will ever be able to eat and over now what can you do with eggs here in the district now, we, we make omelets and different things over on Quillbriar, but I don't think I've got a mod for that in here, do I? What do you, can you eat the eggs straight up? Cake, right, cake. You can make chicken, but cake. So you live on a lot of cake. <laughs> you know, all those eggs, you can make low-carb bread. Yes. <laughs> I made a big loaf of some low-carb bread the other night, and it took me like 10 eggs to do it. So this, this would be great in my world. This is good. Hello, look. And the blacksmith and the smeltery. My God, you've been working hard. You have really done so much. I, I didn't expect this much this soon. I really, really didn't. Because we just reopened this. I mean, we had the Mad Pack and different things going on, but we just reopened this server as a building server uh, right at the end of May, just a couple of days before I left for Scotland. So this has just been, you know, the summer project. In summer, there's always a lot of things going on, and the activity's been a little quieter. And we had, you know, that huge build that this man was, you know, very much involved in with the uh, the Olympic Stadium. And uh, the last little while, the last few weeks, it's been another big event that you will be seeing here very shortly. Uh, that we'll be actually having within the next few days. This guy's been really busy on that too. So I, I really didn't expect this much work done here. That is one hell of a tree. Wow. I got to get over and do my little bit there too on that. I've got a project I need to finish over there. So the blacksmith and the smell tree. Oh my god, and he's another one with all the automated awesomeness. I really got to do one of these. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, I haven't I haven't done any I, I've got something like this over in the basement of my TV, but mine's a little haphazard. <laughs> you know, because all TPs need a good smelter in the bottom, right? I mean it's of course. Yes, see, I knew you'd understand. <laughs> I have built a TP and he has built that portal station and the plaza and the gardens and a village. And I have a TV with a big, okay, a stupid big basement. But the, the thing is, I've just been collecting. I've just been collecting. And I've started building, um, I'm calling it Fort Finrod after one of our followers over in Twitch. But I'm working on the Alamo right now. So I am finally starting to build. It's my version of the Alamo anyway. But, but I'm only starting. <laughs> this guy has all the things. 
The good people in the community shopping district can't wait to see that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So you're you're working on an entire town. We've just got these four things. There's obviously stuff going on over there. There's some kind of orchard or plantation here. You don't have a lot of trees here, do you? What biome are we in? I can't even remember. We are in 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 a plains. Yeah, so you we had to plant you a couple of trees or something to even get you started, didn't we? Oh my goodness, that's right. So you've traded. He's had to trade for all these seedlings to get these other kind of seeds here to even have something to build with. Oh, that's amazing. And to get all these beautiful little shrubs. God, this is pretty. This is so nice. Now there is, there's more across another little bridge here. Is that another section that we're going to get to look at? Or is that something for, that is? Then you know what? I'm going to call this one st uh, an end here for a minute. We got to see the, the, um, the shopping district here. And I'm going to call this one a stop. And we'll start to save that one for the next one. So until I see you guys next time. Yeah, bye Jasper. We're going to have to get you a mic or get your mic fixed or whatever it is it takes um, for sure. Send me an address. I'll send you one. But because, yeah, this is nice. You should be the one bragging here. This is your spotlight. So until I see you guys next time, live your life happy. Please hit like, subscribe, all those good things. Leave your comments. And until I see you next time, build things beautiful. Bye-bye.